Hey everyone, so today we have an interesting video. Something that I've been thinking of doing for a while, but was very, very hesitant to. Because I knew for sure that I would get hate for this. However, today I'm feeling just a little bit ambitious, and a little spicy like a chili powdered chicken nugget. And I feel like it's finally time to finally rank the top 10 worst Bluey characters. Because surprisingly, there's quite a few characters in the show that, while perhaps not terribly terrible, are just a bit mediocre or mildly annoying in their own special, inspirational way. And before anyone comments, I want to make it clear that this is just my opinion. And that my opinion is 100% factual. I'm the one with an AI voice of me singing Cupid by 5050. And I'm the loser who freaked out over an image of Busker on Twitter. So I'm always right, and you are wrong. But with that disclaimer out of the way, without a further ado, let's get into it. So to begin this month's rent payer, we have Bluey. Honestly, the only reason I put her on the list is because, well, she's just too popular. Like, we could have gotten a Bandit Healer iPad case, or we could have gotten a My Size Bandit Healer plush, but no, it's all gotta be about Bluey and themed around her. Plus, I don't even know why they make so much merch about her to begin with. They really treat her like she's the main character or something. Alright, so at number 9, we have Bin Man. And I would tell you his actual name, but to be honest, I don't think they even mention it. And frankly, I wouldn't even care if they did, because I think Bin Man is pretty fitting. Why? Because he belongs in the bin. He's garbage. Since he handles trash, he probably smells. And he doesn't even look that nice, as seen by the lack of fan art of him doing weird stuff on Twitter. However, one aspect that's way worse than all of these is the fact that, out of all the characters people actually asked for, he ended up getting a toy based off him. They could have made, oh, I don't know, Janelle, Alternate Energy Dog, Hi. Jack's Dad, the old pug lady, you know, someone attractive, but no! Garbage Boy over here needs his time in the spotlight and selling toys, so he gets a fast pass and gets to skip the wait list. Also, I used to think he was a lady for some reason. That has nothing to do with why I dislike him, but I just thought I should mention that. Moving on for number 8, we have Jack. Overall, Jack isn't actually annoying or outright bad. In fact, he's actually pretty chill, but he's just not that great or notable. In one episode, he plays with Rusty and gets a super cool cap, and I think that's kind of it. And if I'm remembering correctly, he also gets snitched on by his sister. And outside of that, I can't remember. I haven't watched a single episode of this show in like 8 years or something. I just make videos on it for profit. So for number lucky 7, we have, well, uh, Lucky. Now, the main reason I don't like Lucky is because, um, well, uh, gosh, well, I can't think of a reason. It's almost like he doesn't exist. Sorry for all five of his fans who got enraged right now because they defend a mid-character. For the sixth spot, we have King Charles III. Now, if I'm being honest, he's not really a bad Bluey character, but honestly, he just appears on a plate like once and that's all he really does. And overall, I just wished he could do more, because I think he has potential, and his design is pretty cool. It's honestly a shame we don't have something like him in our world. We're truly living in the worst timeline. But all jokes aside, his persona is pretty cool. So for number 5, we have Captain and Mia. Now I know exactly what you're thinking, Justin. Why are Captain and Mia here? This is a terrible list. And admittedly, upon thinking about it, I honestly made a mistake. Because you know what? You're right. Putting two characters in one space is definitely odd. And to that, I say it's justified. Because these two do so little that they only count as half a character. And speaking of which, they appear in like a couple episodes. One of them does a cartwheel and the dude is like awkward or something. And I think he listens to gangster rap in his spare time. I don't know, I keep getting his actual character and my friend's hand cannon of him mixed up. So correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. And I'll make sure to do absolutely nothing to correct it. Alright, for number 4, we have no one. Because 4 is an unlucky number, and my ancestors would be super disappointed if I used it too much. 
So for once, I'm actually going to respect my family's dignity and at least give one thing they can be proud of about me, which is skipping this number. Great grandpa would be proud. I mean, all those bloody wars, economic hardship, and moving his family across the world on a budget of a Costco hot dog all led to this magical moment. It's truly an accomplishment. Oh wait, you thought I was talking about my family with that last comment, huh? Oh no, silly. I was actually admiring my new talking bandit healer plush I got here. Gosh, what an amazing specimen. I want to give him a kiss. So in my opinion, the number three is kind of mid, and it doesn't really have that skibbity Ohio Riz alpha energy, so I'm just going to skip to two. And for this number, we have Muffin Cupcake Healer. Overall, she's just a spoiled brat who always gets her way. She's super annoying, and more often than not, both ruins the fun of the other characters and even the audience. And some of you might argue that she's only three, and that most kids her age act like this. And my personal response is, you're completely correct. I don't care. So before we get to number one, we have some quick dishonorable mentions. Bingo. That one episode where she sleeps and does absolutely nothing is kinda cool, but she cries too much. Like, come on, you're not four or five years old. Grow up. Mackenzie. He's too loud. Rusty. He likes playing army, and in the army, they have the color green. And I do not like the color green, therefore I don't like Rusty. Red Uncle Stripe. He may not be green, but if he's anything like not red, Uncle Stripe, he deserves to be on the list. And finally, with all that said and done, for our number one spot, we have a two-way tie between two truly awful characters. And it's none other than Uncle Stripe and Uncle Rad. But with all of that said, we have wrapped up our list covering the top 10 worst Blu-ray characters. Truly the list of all time. I hope you enjoyed the video, and until next time, happy April Fools everyone! Yes, this whole video was actually just an elaborate joke, so please don't take anything I said here seriously. This was all in just good fun, and for the record, I don't actually dislike any of the characters I mentioned here, so please don't burn my house down. But with that, I hope I gave y'all at least a couple laughs,